Did you ever remember when Sony ever like made the slim version of the PlayStation? It only happened like probably four or five years later. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I mean, it took a while for the PS4, uh, not the PS4, but PS3 Slim to come out. And I must say, I didn't like how that shit looked though. Or 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 even the PS2 Slim. You know what I'm saying? Um. I don't know why. Let me renege on that. I did like how the PS3 Slim looked. I was, I was thinking about the PS2. PS2 Slim didn't, didn't look right. I'm sorry. But apparently the PS5 Slim is finna come out momentarily. And I think it's a little bit too early for that. And th they just leaked some news about the PS5 Slim. Um, which kind of baffled and disappointed the fans of Sony PlayStation. I don't know why I included Sony... Since it says it's PlayStation, I'm sorry. So, um, as a PS5 Slim recently leaked online and has left PlayStation fans disappointed in the process, there's been rumors of a PS5 Pro percolating for some time now. So far, nothing has come of these rumors. That said, when a new PS5 model leaked online, many thought it would be this long rumored PS5 Pro, but it wasn't. It was a PS5 Slim, like the base model PS5, but it's just smaller. Um, but it wasn't. <clears throat> oh, wait a minute. The successor to the PS4 Slim. That's a PS4 Slim? I gotta research that. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> I'll, I'll be forgetting about this version of the PS4. I think my, my sister had this one, and then she gave it to her boyfriend, because, you know, I think his PS4 broke or whatever. The goodness from her heart. Well, blase, blase. Okay, so that's a PS4 Pro Slim. Oh, I never had one, so of course I had never seen it a lot, so that's why I overlooked that version of the PS4. Anyway, um, so <laughs> the successor of the PS4 Slim that popped up online, um, this week, but new evidence has emerged that suggests the leak is not worth giving anything. The leak is not worth giving any attention to it all began when the large australian retailer seemingly uh, seamlessly listed the new ps5 model there was no media of the console but the retailer did provide following listing the new look uh slimmer ps5 incredibly vivid vibrant colors for break taking uh, hdr or hdr <laughs> um visuals and immersion whether you're gaming or streaming movies on and tv shows at first glance this is eye-catching however um upon further inspection it was revealed that the listing has been up on the retailer since 2021 and has the same exact phasing as the retailer's listing for the ps4 slim in other words it's a placeholder prepared for when if a ps5 slim is rumored so, so what the fuck the australian retailers just put that there like a like an empty shell like a display model of the ps <laughs> oh shit oh this, and and here's a tweet right here from night flyer apparently the ps5 slim is listed at one of the australia's largest retailers sony developing the ps5 along with the ps5 pro being already developed and it says here uh this is an answer from playstation uh, yeah okay this is is this is what i just read before oh wow anyway whether Sony is working on a PS5 Slam or something on this variety, we still don't know, but it is likely the PS4 Slam was made to reduce the cost of manufacturing and provide fatter margins. The same is almost certainly going to happen with the PS5. What's less likely, even though it's been the subject of more rumors, it's a PS5 Pro or again, something of this variety, while well, the PS5 Pro will probably also happen. It's not as straightforward as you may remember the ps4 pro seemingly failed to set the world on fire which begs the question whether a ps5 pro is worth doing especially since the upgrades are less obvious 
As suspected, PlayStation has not uh, commented or any speculation whether it's about the, a potential PS5 Slim or a potential PS5 Pro. We don't anticipate this changing for a variety of reasons, but if it does, we will sure to update the story accordingly. Oh. Well, I think this story is, I think in that aspect, it's like a lot of people got confused or whatever. It, it's, it's too early for a PS5 Slim or even a PS5 Pro to come out. I think the Slim will come first, all right? Then the PS5 Pro will come out. And then that will linger on for a couple years. And then the PS6 will come out. Because the PS5, I mean, excuse me, it's just like what they did the PS4 Pro. You know, the Slim came first, I believe. Um, correct me in the comments if you if you like. But I think the PS4 Pro came first. I mean, excuse me, the PS4 Slim came first. Because it's like the smaller version of the base model. And then the PS4 Pro came after that. Then it lingered. Then the PS5 came out. I think that's going to happen with the PS5. The Slim is going to come out first. Then the Pro. And then a couple years down the line is going to be the PS6. Like probably 18 years. Then the PS6 is going to come out. So it is what it is. I, I don't give a shit about the PS4 Slim on the PS. I, I got my PS5. I was lucky enough. I got it straight from the source. Now I think now you can't even. It's just like me. I bought my PS5 straight from Sony. But I, I, I've hear that you can't even do that anymore. You know, go to the manufacturer and then buy your shit. But uh, I mean, I, I'm not even. I'm not even gonna get the PS. I bought the PS4 Pro, you know, after I had the base model PS4. But as far as the PS5, I got a PC, very powerful PC. Well, it was decent. It's not uber. It's not uber powerful, but it's powerful enough. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you down with PC, you really don't need a pro. You don't definitely don't need a pro console. You know what I'm saying? You got a PC, you got everything you need right here. You know what I'm saying? I just bought a PC because I built it from the ground up because i wanted to do it because it was a birthday blood project and number two um what if what the other things <laughs> keep forgetting I, I had an idea in my head but at the same time it was like i forgot that fast i, I built a p oh yeah yeah so i wouldn't buy an xbox <laughs> Because you know how the exclusivity with Xbox is, and I don't have an Xbox, but I have a PC. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wanted to um, buy, what, what, what's that game from um, Bethesda that they're making? Um, you know, the, the Fallout in Space game that they finna make it. But it's like, since Microsoft bought and owned Bethesda, is an Xbox exclusive. Um, set. Starfield, yeah. I'm going to buy that because it's an Xbox exclusive, but I can get it on PC. You know what I'm saying? So, I really don't need a Pro. I don't need a Slim. I got the PS5. I don't even think I'm going to venture off and keep buying PS6s and PS7s and all that shit because I got a PC. All I got to do is <clears throat> save up some money with my fucking process. Not the pro Well, that too. Um, Save, so save up some money, a hot swap process, whatever it needs to be upgraded or graphics card i got pretty much 32 gigs of ram in this bitch <laughs> all i gotta do is just if a better amd because I, I i have a rising build I, if if an amd radon graphics card comes out and is and is decently priced i'm gonna get it all i gotta do is hot swap it you know and i know how to hot swap it now because i ran from what the fuck up um I think I my first graphics card was a 1050i. It was old. That's an old ass shit, but it worked. It worked. Now I got a fucking AMD graphics card that's comparable with a 3060, which is decent enough. It's not like a. I wish it was like a 3080. Really, I don't care about the 3090s or 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 even the 4000 series. I heard the 4000 series it blew a couple of rigs up. So I don't know if they were drawing too much power in it, but no, nah, I'm not. No, nah, man, my graphics card is like awesome. It's awesome. I mean, it's not the best, but it's it's current. <laughs> but um shit. Just get a PC. That's all you got to do. Just just buy yourself a PC and everything be gravy.
Anyway, this is what to talk about with Dre James. Hit that like button, social media links but down in the description box below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, subscribe to my podcast platforms. I'm on Spotify, Google, and Apple. All right, peace out.